Let us understand how to apply sine law or cosine law. Here is an application problem. It says, from a certain distance, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 20 degrees. At a point 50 meter closer to the building, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Calculate the height of the building. Let's first sketch the scenario. Let's say that is the path, right? And let's have a building here. Okay, so that's the building. Now the question is that the angle of elevation from a point is 20 degrees. So let's say, let's join this with the top of the building. Okay, so that gives us the angle of elevation of 20 degrees. Now second part is, at a point 50 meter closer to the building, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. So that means, let's join the top with another point. Okay, and this angle is given to us as 30 degrees. And let's say the point is A and B. Distance between A and B is how much? 50 meter. 50 meter closer, right? So that is 50 meters. And what we need to find is height of the building, height A, right? Let's say this is the top of the building and that's the base, right? O. Now we need to find the height, TO. How are you going to find the height of the building? Now, the triangle ABT, we can find all the angles of this triangle. So I can use exterior angle theorem, which is 30 is equal to 20 plus, let us say this is X, right? So we know 30 degrees, the exterior angle is equal to sum of remote interior angles. So it is 20 plus X. And therefore, we get x is equals to 30 degrees minus 20 degrees, which is 10 degrees. So that is one way of finding angle x. Well, what you can also do is you can find this angle, which is 180 minus 30. So it will give you 150. Now, 150 plus 20 is 170. So total should be 180. So that is 10, right? Again, the same thing. But i like you to review some concepts of geometry. So we have used exterior angle equals to sum of remote interior. It's good to know. Okay. We could always do straight line is 180 and find it out. Okay. Now it's important to find this x since 50 meters was given to us and if we need to apply sine law we should know one set which is opposite angle and the side now once we know that we can find the other two sides so in this particular example the side important to us is tb once we know tb we know we know this height can be found using trigonometric ratios for right angles right so what is tb equals to let's say tb the Hypotenuse for the triangle TBO should be equal to, let's first use sine law, so TB over sine 20 should be equal to the length 50 over the angle, which is 10 degrees for us. Let me write 10 degrees, okay, sine of 10 degrees. So from here, we can say, well, this implies that TB this hypotenuse is equals to 50 over sine 10 degrees times sine of 20 degrees, right? So we can use the calculator. So 50 divided by sine of 10 times sine of 20 degrees. That gives us 98.48, right? Let me do it once again. It is 50 divided by sine 10 times sine of 20 degrees, 98.48. So that is 98.48. Let me write this as 5, right? So we get this height, I mean the hypotenuse, as 98.5. Now once we know this hypotenuse, we can find the height, correct? So now we are considering the right triangle 
TBO. So in the right triangle TBO, sine of 30 degrees is how much? H over 98.5, right? So now we have sine of 30 degrees is equals to height of the building, H, over the hypotenuse of this triangle, which is 98.5. Well, it was better to use 98.48, uh, since that will be kind of inaccurate, right? So I'll recommend you to use four decimal places. We'll round our answers to the whole numbers, so this will work actually. So from here we can find what height is. So height is equals to 98.5 times sine of 30 degrees. So we have 98.5 times sine of 30 degrees. That gives us 49.25. So we'll approximate to 49 degrees, right? So that is the height of the building for our case. And therefore, we can say the answer is height of the building is approximately 49 meters, right? Since the units are in meters, right? So that is how we can solve this question. So it's kind of important to figure out which angle we should find, right? You could find all the angles. But this was critical since we get one set of opposite side and angle as known. Then we can solve the right triangle and solve the question. I hope you understand it. Thank you and all the best.